Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to talk about one of the most important topics in AWS, so which is nothing but securing your S3 buckets. Did you know that data breaches often happen because of misconfigured S3 buckets? Don't worry, in this video, I'll show you how to secure your S3 bucket in just five minutes. Let's get started. Firstly, we'll talk about what exactly S3. Coming to the S3, so S3 is, it's a, a cloud-based object storage service that will allow users to store and to retrieve data from anywhere at any time. And S3 offers industry-leading scalability and data availability and security and as well as performance also. So however, in S3, so the buckets can become vulnerable if it is misconfigured. And it will also lead a public access and data leaks also. So that's why securing your S3 buckets is critical and it's crucial also. And you can see, so these are all the following S3 security best practices. So where we can use block public access and we can use encryption and we can use a bucket versioning and we can use object log and we can use access logging and many more features also. Firstly, let me navigate to the S3 management console. Click on S3 here. So here, the step number one is block public access. So we know by default, S3 buckets are private, but some configurations will allow public access. Now let me show you how you can block it. So first of all, go to your S3 bucket, and click on the permission section. And here you can see we have a feature called block public access. So click on edit or modify. So now here you can enable block all public access and click on save changes. And finally, so just type confirm in the field and click on confirm. So by doing this, so we can ensure no unauthorized users can access your data. That is objects in the S3 bucket. And coming to the step number two, so we can use bucket encryptions. So using the bucket encryption, so we can ensure your data, so which is stored securely, and even if someone gains unauthorized access also. So to enable the bucket encryption, go to the properties of the bucket and scroll down here. So go to the default encryption. So we know by default, so S3 will use a platform-based encryption called, that is a server-side encryption, which is provided by Amazon S3. So if at all you want to manage <clears throat> encryption, click on edit here. So you, here we can use SSC S3, that is a platform-based encryption. And we can use a server-side encryption, so which is provided by AWS, a key management service, that is a KMS service. So where, so we can use a default keys, that is a default encryption key, and we can also use a customer managed key, so using a KMS service. Okay. So you can select any type of encryption, like whatever you want, that is a client-side encryption or a server-side encryption. So click on a save change. So once we done with the encryption, the step number three is. So we can use versioning feature. So if at all you want to add the extra layers of security for your objects within the S3 bucket, so go to the you know properties and here, so you can see by default bucket versioning is disabled. So if at all you want to enable bucket versioning, so click on edit here and here click on enable bucket versioning. Remember, so once it is enabled, we cannot disable it back. Instead, we can suspend bucket versioning feature. So click on save changes. Okay. So once the bucket versioning is enabled, so which will ensure that, so you can also recover, you know, uh, the objects or the data from accidental deletions and as well as overwrite using the bucket versioning. And coming to the one more uh, security best practice. So we can use object log. So where we can, so lock the objects for a specific, you know, a specific amount of time. So to use by and, and even you know object log by default it is disabled. So to enable object log, so click on edit here and click on enable object log and you can click on save changes. Okay. So by using all these you know steps, so we can ensure that each and every object so in the S3 bucket will be secured. That's it. So uh, in just you know few minutes, so we have secured our S3 bucket by blocking public access and enabling encryptions and adding in uh, versioning. And we have also enabled 
you know uh, object lock also so if you found this video is helpful so don't forget to like and share and subscribe for more aws tips and as well as tutorials and see you all in the next video thank you